Okay, I'm walking out of here now, and uh, I've heard a few twig breaks, a few snaps, maybe, just maybe a grunt, I'm really not sure, but these guys, like I said, that and right there, that and right there broke. I could keep the camera behind me, but I need one behind me here, you know. I'm facing backwards. But, I am going. But, I know they're up in here. They've showed me today and everything, so I'm satisfied. I mean, from the breaks I'm seeing here, I'll start right here. This is the one, this is the one where that X is. And if you look right in the center of it, they broke it. See there? They broke that. So that's pretty damn interesting. Oh, I imagine there's more breaks on up in the woods, but I ain't gonna go up in them ridges right now. It's too wet and I'm tired. I decided to come out there and do a little lollygag and check out an area that I haven't checked out since last year. And I'm glad I did. I'm seeing stuff that I haven't uh, seen some stuff up here I haven't seen in a few years up in here. I mean, they're close. Well, either or side of the ridge. I heard them when I was coming up in here. They might have moved on. I'm not really sure. But... They make a distinct sound when they walk. It's like it's crunch. Even on wet, even on wet stuff, you can hear them snap because they're so damn heavy and everything. So I'll get down here. I'll show you what I've seen coming up, but I'll go in more in detail on it. Show you how they, show you how it looks, the way they did it. But you know they walk and they're feeding. And they'll stop and snap a tree, make it look good, kind of like a picture, but it's just, I'm thinking it's a, they're like road signs. Like this one right here. It's broke right here. Yeah, that's fresh. And it's been twisted. And it's pointing in that, and it's pointing in that direction, going up a trail. So they was on this trail here, walking, and breaking shit, just zigzagging, over zigzagging, feeding, looking for grubs, tea berries, which are turkey berries, the little red berries you find on the ground that taste like mint. They eat them too, that's a good food supply. It's, for, it's protein that they can eat. And while I was in the Boy Scouts, we was taught to use it for toothpaste. It's got to cleanse your teeth, gives you a good minty, minty breath taste, and all that good stuff. But and I feel normal now if they're not around here. They're not around here. They must have moved on. They must have followed me up to the end and stayed up there. I reckon. Not really sure. But I just because I'm hearing wildlife that I didn't hear before when I was on the way up in there. I didn't hear, but I hear them now. I hear birds in the background. And we got like this right here. That right there. And that right there. If you notice they they set stuff in certain positions. You know? That's pretty cool. I like that. But you wanna see something weird? We got a a, a, a a oak tree that grew from right there. It come all the way. And grew back in the ground. It's an oak. That's surprising, man. It's really surprising. And we'd do some knocks, but I don't think it's doing good. It's a little break right there. So you gotta notice little stuff like this right here, you know? You gotta notice stuff. See, when you notice little stuff like that, 
there's little stuff like that there. Let's see. Right here. Like that right there. Fresh book. So you know they they do do some devastating stuff when they want to. Dang it. Uh, okay. Like this one right here. See that? Tell you how hard it is. And he laid some sticks down right there. Right there. All right. But you know, it's really hard to say why they did stuff like that. Plus, you got that right there. You got that right there. Comes out. Comes out. Comes down on the trail. And you got that right there. All this. That looks like an A. See how you got the stick goes up. And you got the other one goes up. And you got the one that comes right across here. It's like the letter alphabet A. Apparently they do know letters. Because I see a lot of D's, F's, A's, maybe a B or two, you know. I mean, I can see it breaks all down in there, you know. But they're very intelligent creatures. And every time I come into a zone, I'll observe and I learn. That's how I know so much about Sasquatch in my area, because they teach me. I look at their signs, their diggings, footprints, tree breaks, twists, you know, all that stuff. You know, you learn from that if you know what you're looking at. Like I had a picture on, of a squatch this morning on Facebook. A guy says, I don't see what you're looking at. If you've never seen him, you don't know what he looks like. So why should you say, I don't see anything? Well, it's apparently you don't know what you're looking at. Squatches has got a distinct look in their face. Sometimes it'll be like a kid. Sometimes it'll be like an old timer. I've seen both. You know, so I really don't worry about them. I know I've seen the big 11 footer and I've seen I've seen six juvies that look like twins. The only time, see, I've seen two black ones, two brown ones, and two cinnamon ones. Now, I can't tell you if they were brothers and sister or two brothers. I can't really say. They could have been twins. They could not have. But when I seen them, I think the biggest one out of, out of all six of them was about five foot. The other one was about four, four and a half. And weights, probably about 150 to 180 pounds. And it's just taking a wild guess on, the, on what they do, on their size and everything. So, you know, it really just all depends. You know. It really just all depends. Here, let me just, right there. Yeah, that's a healthy tree too. A lot of these small trees are saplings, you know, and they are healthy. And they're broke. Okay, let me give you a prime example here. Look at this right here. Now you see, you see, it's twisted. Okay, let me show you. See how it's twisted? Twisted all the way around. And it's broke off here, here, and here. You know, one, two, three, four. And it comes out to be this right here. See how they twisted it? They, just twist, they twisted it like this here, from right to left. That's another sign that you got to look at. And if you don't know what you're looking at, you ain't used to rag about it. 
was like, I can't see what you're looking at. I don't see anything. It's because you've never seen a squash before. They are the master. Look at this. They are the master of camouflage. And people's got to realize that. They've been around for over a thousand years and they can hide right out in the open. You'll never see them. That is something I congratulate them on. It's something I'm proud of them on because they know how to do it. And they're good at it. And people say, well, I don't see them, so they don't exist. Well, when they say, when, some, when someone gets it on the, on the slab table and dissects him and tells, tells you what each part is, then I believe it. That's bullshit. That's total bullshit. You could, all you got to do is go out and look. They will leave you signs everywhere telling you, hey, this is my phone number. Check me out sometimes, if you can. And that's what I do. I learn from them. From the very first time I had that one come out in front of me in 81, till right now, 2015, January 3rd, I'm still learning. I will learn till the day I die, because I will be squatching till the day I die. Look at this right here. That was set there. Oh, that was set there. You got to know what you're looking at. You got to be able to know how to read it. Now, I'm not claiming to be an expert, because I'm not an expert. I am a tracker. I can read tracks like a mother. But I ain't teaching it unless I desire to. A squatch will teach you if you if you look, listen, and learn. That's all it is to it. There's that break right there. All you gotta do is just understand how they do it. If you're an outdoorsman like me, it's easy. But when you're a city slicker in the town of New York. Chicago and shit like that claiming that you know what Bigfoot's look claiming everything you're a Bigfoot expert like this one guy in New York Never seen a squatch in his life Never But he says from the information he's read He can honestly say that Bigfoot does not exist Well, my opinion is get off your stinking city slicking ass get out in the fucking woods and learn then you will have a different point of view, flat out. I don't care what anybody says. They're here. I've seen them. I've heard them. I've had rocks thrown at me. Hell, I've had everything thrown at me with them. And I'm glad they did because it teaches me. It teaches me when I'm too close, which I have got very close and didn't know it. Like a Dow Smoke Vanilla. That was less than 20 yards from me, to my right, left. They threw a rock, like, hey, you're too close, move. You know, that's all you gotta learn, that's, that's all you gotta do is just listen. They will teach you. When you're too close, they'll teach you, they'll tell you, you're too close, by throwing stuff at you. But of course, a lot of times, you'll have juveniles like with me, juveniles, Chuck a few rocks, you know, and I've got to the point, I'll chuck them back. And that aggravates them, or they think it's a game, one to two. I don't particularly care, but I'm, it's teaching me what they do, what they like to do, and what they don't like to do. You know, the bigger ones, there is a day watcher, and I see him more than anything. I see him more than I see anybody else. Right there. That's a laurel brush. Laurel brush is hard to break. Believe me. I've tried. If you try to run down a ridge through the laurel brush, it's like running into a brick wall. Things will stop you on a dime. They're flexible. 
they burn really well and they're harder, they're harder than a locust the oldest ones are you know so but I'm going to show y'all something when I get out here to the jeep uh, back when I was here when it snowed I come out and I found a single set of tracks stepping in front of one another that was about a four and a half foot gap in between them they come down the ridge but they come off that little hill goes up, up on the trail they walked around my jeep they walked into the woods made a circle come back in front of my jeep stopped about a foot from my jeep with his footprints facing toward my jeep turned around and went on up in the laurel thicket up toward the campsite so that tells me I was a juvenile. He's probably about five and a half, six foot tall by his footprints. You know? And that's the footprints I got, got of them. That's the footprints I got in the snow with my footprint right next to him. <coughs> but people have got to learn to understand these creatures. If you choose to desire, like me, to learn from them, it will teach you a lot. It's like going back to school again. And I'm damn proud of it. They teach me every time I come in here. I always see something, some, I mean, the brakes may look the same, but if you observe them, they're different. And that's what I see. Okay. I'm almost back to the Jeep. And... Oh yeah, got my new toy with me, my 17, but they don't, there's a couple of holes right there, they don't bother me, I don't bother them, I'll come into their, I just come into their bedroom, they looked at me, they threw a, I had a rock thrown, didn't come close to me, but at least it was telling me where they was at, so I knew they was up on a ridge to my left. Which was a good point. So they told me, see, that's the thing about them. They'll give themselves away when you, they throw a rock at you. And I know that's where they're at. And I say, okay, that's cool. I know where you're at. I know what you're doing. You're watching me. That's cool. And that's something I appreciate. Because they're watching me and they're learning from me, and I'm watching them, and I'm learning from them. I'm getting ready to get my feet wet here. There we go. But anyway, these are very intelligent creatures. And I appreciate them. And I got a feeling within a quite a few, maybe not too far from now, that they're going to take and start showing themselves more and more. And then people are going to say, well, they really do exist. I like it. I like them. They're teaching me. To be a smarter person in the woods, to observe more. And when you observe more, you see more. It's like when you first start working on motors. You don't understand it. But the more you work on them, the more you start to know about them. Same way with milking cows, running a sheep farm, running a dairy, driving a truck. It doesn't make a difference. When you start to, when you start to, Got to do something that you want to learn you learn by watching observing and asking questions so as far as I'm concerned I'm almost to the Jeep now I'm tired I got some coffee in the Jeep lovely lovely coffee but I'm gonna take drink me a cup of coffee as I'm going back to the house and I'm going to download this. I'm going to call this the uh, Bald Mountain Bald Mountain Excursion. That's what it was. And it was an excursion to come back here this time of year. Especially with all the junk I got on. I didn't even bring my backpack. I just bought my camera in case I'm a, in my 17 Super Mag. That's all I brought. So, I'm doing pretty good. I'm running out of things to say because I'm tired. But anyway, 
This is Freddy 59100. And y'all have a good one, and I'll catch you on the rebound. Later.